Right, so uh, enough of uh, theory. Let's look at our configuration. All right, so this is the scenario of the, uh, the configuration. Um, when upstream and downstream service uh, interfaces on firewall work at layer 3 and it's connected to layer 2 devices, okay, so layer 3 basically means we have an IP subnet here which is differ with the IP subnet on this side and also there's another IP subnet on this side as well and this is a switch which is a, a layer 2 okay um, so we will configure VRP groups on the service interfaces so that the VGMP groups can monitor the layer 3 interfaces service interfaces through VRP group okay so in this example we have two VRRP groups. So example, the first one is um, uh, VRP group 1, and this is the virtual IP address, which is 1.1.1.1, and the IP on this segment is also 1.1.1.10, with the gateway of 1.1.1.1. Okay, and on this side, we have untrust, okay, and uh, we also configured uh, VRP group number two, and this is the uh, assume the virtual IP. Okay. So let's look at the commands. Um, so first of all, we have to configure the VRP on the interface view. Okay. Now remember, we have to first type in interface G something something something. Okay. Example interface G. Uh, 1 slash 0 slash 1 and then after that we will type in this command here which is VRP space VRID and then followed by v virtual router ID okay now virtual router ID which means the group ID okay now remember earlier uh, we saw there are two groups there are two groups so we need to specify the the same group number on each firewall and followed by for example in this case we probably will put in number one okay and that after that followed by the uh, option of virtual IP and then followed by the virtual IP addresses which is the shared IP address and after that we also can specify the uh, IP mask or IP mask length so for example space 24 so let's say it's uh, some example of the uh, virtual IP uh, earlier we saw there's one virtual IP which is 1.1.1.1 and finally we need to mention is this going to be the active or is this going to be the standby okay after the active or standby parameter is specified the VRP group is added into the active or standby of a VGMP group remember VGMP <laughs> Yeah, so this is the uh, VRP group management protocol. Now we can have up to 255 VRP groups uh, can be configured on each common physical interface, uh, which is example the gigabit interface. Okay. So that is step number one, and after that, uh, the next step here is to enable the HRP. Huawei redundancy protocol. The command is actually very simple. Okay, so first of all, we can actually specify the heartbeat interface. Okay, remember I mentioned this command before. I, I mentioned there's there's a, there's a command that we need to specify the heartbeat. So here's the command. Okay, by the way, this is actually a system view command. All right, so you have to go to system view and then you can type here HRP followed by interface then you can also follow by the interface type and interface number which in other words means g1 slash 0 slash 6 for example okay, let's assume this is the interface for your heartbeat okay and you need to mention what is your remote IP address okay what's your neighbor IP address so then we type remote and then followed by the value of the IP address. Okay, let's just go back for a moment and uh, let's check it out what IP is this. 
All right, so this is the example. We have G106, and the IP is supposed to be 1010.0.1, and the opposite is actually 1010.0.2. So if we were to configure on the uh, master or USGA, and then this is going to be the remote remote IP address 10.10.0.2 and then after that we configure at the USGB and then the remote IP address will be 10.10.0.1 okay all right so if you want to configure uh, you prefer IPv6 over, over IPv4 then you need to specify the option of IPv6 now the next command is uh, to enable the uh, HRP Okay, very simple. This is a simple command, HRP uh, enable. And after that, and uh, enable the function of the configuration at the standby device. So if this guy is a standby device, then we're going to configure this. Okay, for example, in our case, let's assume USB B is our standby. So we configure HRP standby config space enable so you only do it at the standby device not the master okay and after that the next command is to enable the function of automatically backup commands and also the status information now I don't see why you don't need this so the command is actually very simple it's called HRP auto sync then followed by config or maybe connection status okay yeah so this is actually uh, the command okay uh, but you need to split this to, into two commands okay one is the HRP auto sync space config and followed by whatever parameters behind and you need to retype the command HRP auto sync connection status followed by the parameter behind this okay and if you want to enable the quick session backup okay now remember quick session are those session which is a very inconsistent uh, like for example the UDP you know they, they, they receive uh, the session from one side and the other the, then the return traffic is come is going to the, the, another firewall so here we can uh, we can run the command HRP mirror session uh, enable okay alright so here's the uh, example of uh, the configuration of uh, USGA okay and then you go to interface gigabit 101 and then we configured a physical IP so this interface every VRP interface must have its own uh, physical IP so this is example of USGB see that there's another IP here 10202 and after that we configured the command like this VRP VRID1 okay remember we mentioned this is a group 1 command and then followed by virtual IP and followed by the the IP value and here we can specify the IP mask or you can just put 24 for me honestly I would prefer just 24 and then you follow by the uh, active or standby okay so on the USGB again I want to emphasize this this is a physical IP address that not supposed to conflict with your A, the firewall A, the USG A, but this command it has to be consistent. VRP, VRID one, it has to be one, one and one. It has to be the same value. Okay. Next, virtual IP one 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 space two five five two five uh, zero again. It has to be the same. Otherwise, these two guys are not listening at each other. Okay and after that followed by you know active or standby so let's say you prefer USB B as the as the active then you can change the command here active and here become standby okay all right then after that uh, we configure the command HRP enable HRP mirror session enable and then we enable the HRP interface at gigabit 106 okay um, that's it. <laughs> There's only two places, two two commands. Okay, one is for the VGMP, and the other command is for the HRP. And after that, we view the status. Okay, this is what will happen after we enable the VRP. Okay, and you can see here there's a VRP 
uh, status A, which is the active, right? And then uh, you can see there's a USG uh, uh, A here, which is the, the first router, sorry, the first firewall. And here we have display VRP followed by interface G103. Okay, and here it will tell you, uh, first of all, this is uh, virtual router session 2. 2 here means uh, the VRID 2. And uh, it's active, state is active. What is the virtual IP? Yeah, the virtual IP. And there's also a virtual MAC address. Okay, now this is also very important because from the user point of view, remember every user have a default gateway that's pointing to this number, this IP, the default gateway, they will, all the client will point to here. And guess what? The MAC address, they will actually look at this MAC address as well. This is the MAC address. If you were to check out from the PC uh, ARP table, yeah, so let's assume this is the PC ARP table, and uh, you will find that they will have this entry in the uh, table and followed by zero 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 something something zero one zero two okay yeah this is the ARP table um, okay so primary who is the uh, primary so dot one is the, uh, the the active and then you can see these are the the priority value we have uh, 100 and uh, 120 is the uh, actual running value and who is the master and 120 is the master as well Right, so this is to check the uh, VRP uh, status. Um, you can also retype this command for other interfaces. Now remember, in, in our scenario here, we have two groups. One is facing towards the internet, and the other group is facing towards the intranet. So you can just change the interface in the group and look at the other command, uh, the other side of the interface. And you can also try command like display VRP brief. Okay. Now, to check the HRP state, you can use the command display HRP state. And here, you can also look at the, uh, the state. All right, so in this case, this firewall, this firewall is in active. Okay. So as opposed to the, uh, the opposite, it will be standby. So let's say USB, USGB will obviously be standby. And you can also look at the two interfaces, the two interfaces which involve in the VRP. Uh, one is a VRID1 and VRID2, they are both active states, okay? Right, so how do we configure on the web? Okay, so on the web is actually uh, pretty pretty straightforward. Uh, once you log in to the uh, web portal, go to system, high availability, dual system, hot standby, and click edit to configure the dual system hot standby. And then you can click the edit button here. All right, now before we go to the edit, you can actually check some of the status here. For example, the running mode, load balancing, uh, the working mode is active, heartbeat interface none. Okay, yeah, so this is maybe we, we haven't configured anything yet. Um, so after we configure, we should actually see the heartbeat interface show something. Now, this is the one that I just mentioned earlier, proactive preemption. Okay, now by default here is enable. So which means if firewall A fails, firewall B takes over, and what happens if firewall A comes back? So it actually, if enable uh, preemption is enabled, so which means the session will then go back to the active state will go back to firewall A. Okay. Right. So once you click edit, then this is the page. Right. So we can uh, configure. Uh, we say yes, I want the hot standby mode. And we can also select uh, active standby backup and state you want this guy to be active or you want this guy to be standby. And after that, we specify what is the heartbeat interfaces and what is the IP address of this heartbeat interface and what is the neighbor. Yeah. And then uh, proactive, you see, there's a, there's a checkbox here, enable or disable. And after that, you can uh, go to the lower screen to configure the uh, VRRP. Okay, so here are the example. We have uh, interfaces and also the virtual IP. All right, and this is the uh, standby. So on the standby, what's the different? Uh, this is different. Yeah, 
the same interface, yeah, the pure IP address, okay, uh, and also the uh, the virtual IP. This is on USG B. All right, and uh, to view the historical switch over, okay. So at at the the main page, yeah, on the dual system hot standby page, we can click the details to view the active and the standby switch over about the dual system hot standby. So we can actually look at the status. Okay, look at the detail. Yep. So this is on the uh, dual hot system. Hot, okay, yeah, view the running mode. Okay, and uh, you can look at the role and also the VRP group status. Okay, so this is the uh, yeah, the running mode is active standby. The working role here is active. The earlier, the previous screen shows you details. Okay, um, consistency check. Yeah, and uh, to view the the master role or standby role. All right, so let's look at some quiz. Okay. All right, so first question: HRP enables the active firewall to synchronize all configurations and information to the standby firewall. Therefore, the configuration and information are still available after a firewall restart. As a result, no information needs to be configured on the standby firewall. Okay, so what do you think the answer is? Okay, now unfortunately the answer is false. Okay, uh, we still have to configure on the uh, uh, firewall B, uh, and uh, yeah, so the answer is is false. Which of the following protocols is used to control the switchover? Of all the VRP groups in the firewall dual system hot standby networking, so what do you think? This is to switch over all the VRP groups. So the answer is so simple. Answer is A. Yeah, V G M P. So the previous answer here was uh, false. Okay. So these are the two simple quiz question. And to summarize, um, so we t spoke about the uh, uh, the principle of how the uh, dual system uh, how it works in the theory. Yeah, we also talk about the session, which is also very important. Not only the VRP, the session the status are also very important. And after that, we spoke about the uh, configuration of the dual system and configuration uh, also quite simple. Um, yeah, we just we just need to configure the VRP. Uh, on, on the interface and after that we need to go to the global view and configure the HRP and also don't forget the heartbeat interface okay so um, so with that um, we finish uh, this chapter and thank you for listening